You watch those nature documentaries on the cable? You see the one about lions? Look at this lion. He's the king of the jungle. Huge mane out there. He's so big. He's so hot. He doesn't want to move. Now, the little lion comes. They start messing with him. Biting his tail, biting his ears. He doesn't do anything. Now, the other animals, they notice this. And they start to move in. The jackals. Hyenas, they're barking at him, laughing at him. They nip his toes. They do this, and they get closer and closer and bolder and bolder. Until one day, that lion gets up and tears the sh** out of everybody. Eats everything in his path. Because every once in a while, the lion has to show the jackals who he is. What's up, guys? Boy, Benny. It's always a good day when Donald Trump posts a new ad or a new creation from the legion of memers who meme for Donald Trump on the internet. I think this is sort of a hybrid that Donald Trump just posted on his Truth Social. Absolutely legendary video narrated by Christopher Walken, of all people. Gave me chills. Check this out. He's the king of the jungle. Huge mane. He's so big. He's so hot. But now, the little lion comes. They start messing with him. Biting his tail, biting his ears. He doesn't do anything. The lioness, she starts messing with him. Coming over, making trouble. Still, nothing. Now, the other animals, they notice this. And they start to move in. The jackals. Hyenas, they're barking at him, laughing at him. They nip his toes and eat the food that's in his domain. They do this, and they get closer and closer and bolder and bolder. Until one day, that lion gets up and tears the shit out of everybody. Runs like the wind, eats everything in his path. Because every once in a while, the lion has to show the jackals. Who is? Oh, man, come on. As somebody, obviously, who lived in Washington, D.C. during Trump's first four-year term in office and experienced so many of those viral moments because I was, well, doing this, right? Um, and watched all of Trump's movements very closely and covered the White House very closely, asked questions at press briefings and so on. I can tell you it was a, it was a magical time for news. It was a really uplifting time to be an American. You lived through it, right, presumably? Seeing Donald Trump pick up the Marine's hat that fell off or meet Kim Jong-un and cross into North Korea, a country that we're still technically at war with. I mean, that's sort of like really remarkable stuff. And it's really, it really, it's, it gives you chills and it makes for a lot of great, uh, good, good advertising content. Yeah, this gives me sort of the same vibes as something that Scavino posted. Scavino obviously is sort of Donald Trump's uh, digital voice, right? He's the man who manages all of Donald Trump's social media. And Dan Scavino, uh, recently posted this creation, which is uh, similar in vibe and in tone. The test of a man is how much he will bear for a cause which he knows to be right. How long will he stand in the depths of despair? How much will he suffer and fight? There are many to serve when the victory is near and few are the hurts to be borne. But it calls for a leader of courage to cheer the men in a battle for law. It is the way you hold out against odds that are great that proves what your courage is worth. It is the way that you stand to the bruises of fate that shows up your stature and girth. And victory is nothing but proof of your skill, veneered with a glory that's thin. Unless it is a proof of unfaltering will, and unless you have suffered to win. Uh, Donald Trump's such an alpha that he not only can like take moments like this and make them uplifting and inspiring, but he can also take his arrests and make them uplifting and inspiring. Here's what Donald Trump did when he was getting uh, arrested or when, when he was getting uh, brought into court to answer for bullshit 
federal charges. President Donald Trump has been indicted. This makes him the first former U.S. president in history to be indicted on federal charges. The only indictment that should be coming down is against President Biden for whatever he was doing as vice president. I don't think Joe Biden thinks he can beat Donald Trump, so he's got to destroy him. This is election interference. If you get in the way of the Democratic Party, they will target you, they will come after you, and they will try and destroy your life. Donald Trump now moving forward with his campaign, not letting this indictment slow him down. Never before have the two standards of justice in our country been more so Revealed. But they will fail and we will win bigger and better than ever before. When you arrest your leading political opponent, we no longer have a democracy. They want to take away my freedom because I will never let them take away your freedom. They're not coming after me, they're coming after you, and I just happen to be standing in their way and I will never be moving. Uplifting is obviously the vibe of the Trump campaign. This remains my favorite Donald Trump ad uh, to reach out to Latino voters. I'm Donald, Donald Trump, Trump, and I approve this message. <laughs> it speaks, speaks better Spanish than Jill Biden. Si se puede. Your breakfast taco. Don't get mad at me. That's what Jill Biden said. Don't come after me. Comfort, go comfort Jill Biden. All right? Yeah. So, uh, pretty great ad there. I hope, that, I hope they just run that ad. You just have to run that ad every single day. You can't, you can't help but dance to it. Okay, this is the meme that Donald Trump posted of Nick, of Big Fanny and Nathan's hot dog. Elon Musk actually responded to us and said laughing. Also, Donald Trump. I mean, come on. What do I like? He also he also posted this. <laughs> nobody even knows. Nobody knows. Like, like th that's actually not a filter on Kamala. That's I, this literally. This is literally what Kamala looks like. That's what Kamala looked like. Well, she's asked a question about Joe Biden being uh, if he was going to make it to 2024. Some Democratic donors. Mm -hmm. And they have told us that should something befall President Biden and he is not able to run, mm -hmm. that there would be a free for all for who would run as president. Because Joe Biden is very much alive and running for re-election. Joe Biden, he's very much alive. Imagine that. That was, your, that was the person defending you. Joe Biden, he's alive. Yeah, Biden's actually panicking behind closed doors that he's losing to Donald Trump. Behind closed doors, Biden has grown angry and anxious about re-election effort, according to NBC News. He's apparently snapping at people and seething. This is the language they use. Seething. Uh, he began to shout and swear at lawmakers. Oh, my. Never great. Never great look, right, President? Uh, Joe Biden's also losing. Hispanic uh, voters uh, and black voters and all minorities, actually, uh, and white voters <laughs> in record numbers. So I tell, I tell you, the Latino ad is working. The Latin ad, the, the, the Latino ad is, <laughs> it's working, man. <laughs> Keep doing it. I, 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 for Donald Trump. I'm here for it. You can be here for us, like, share, and subscribe to our channel to stay exceedingly based. See ya.